Hi everybody, welcome back to the Revenue News channel. Today we have some exciting new unboxing. We got the new Saber Ford ASP. Um, this would be one of the first unboxing videos regarding the ASP in the GoGo second run. And uh, to give you a small update, so I ordered this Saber around the 15th of June 2016 and I received it within 14 business days. It's now the uh, seventh. No, it's now the sixth of July. So that's well within 14 business days, and it's a lot faster than the initial ASP run. So if you' looking for an ASP saver from Saberforce, I don't think at this point you have to worry about the long lead times that the initial run had of seven plus months. So from that point of view, um, please feel reassured that you can order a Saberforce ASP Saber and have it within your uh, house within 14 business days. So let's uh, open the box, shall we? So in the meanwhile, I use this uh, weird dull piece of metal to try to unbox it. Let's see if I can do it. Yep, here we go. That's it. That's all we need. Um, so I ordered the Saber Force in uh, iteration of the Graflex, you know, the classical Luke Skywalker Saber. Uh, Luke Skywalker Saber from the Empire Strikes Back and New Hope and now uh, the Force Awakens. That typical old school new iteration of a lightsaber like we all grew up with and we all know. So I took... Uh, Saber for its own version of that. So, okay, we have more or less the box open, so let's see what's inside. First of all, there's some brown paper stuffing in there. And then there's a surprise there. We got a Saber for stand. That's what I not expected, because initially I only ordered an empty ASP Saber from Saber Force. So this is a very pleasant surprise. Um, I will unpack it later, uh, but it's nice to uh, get that bonus uh, of a, a stand in there. So, next item in the box is the saber or the hilt itself, so let's get it out. Uh, put it on my lap quickly. What we have here is some packing. And that's it, the box is empty. So, that's what you get in the ASP saber uh, run. So you get a hilt nicely packed inside a, a, a nice fitting box. Okay, this is the moment we have been waiting for. We're gonna unbox the wrapping or unbox. We're gonna take off the wrapping of the saber and look like, look how the hilt looks like. Geez, so much wording. Okay, empty. And here we go. So we have uh, some wording on there called CLC. No idea what it stands for, but I hope everything is good because with the ASP run there are quite a bit of people getting the wrong parts or the wrong finish of the parts such as clear or black or weathered. Um, so we're gonna find out did I get the right parts, yes or no. And here we go, it's uh, a lot of sticky tape there. Okay. Oh my god, what a lot of stuff. Okay, so here we go. So we got, again, a Saber Force card as always. Um, you know what I do with these. Then we got the Saber Force disclaimer uh, slash information. This is not, by the way, this is not a manual of how to install or how to fit together your ASP Saber. I think that is still very crappy from Saber Force. They really have to add some instruction because I see so many people complaining about the fact that they don't know how to assemble the Saber or they run into all kinds of electronical issues because parts breaking up because they don't know what is the procedure to properly install those electronics. So Saber Force, please start adding that simple manual because it takes like a half a day of work for one of your employees and you will save so much support issues. Uh, but yeah, this is just a disclaimer. And then we go to the saber and oh my god, it looks so cool. I can see it from here. Okay, okay I have to be careful because there's some uh, timing shims in there, which I uh, will get into uh, shortly what it is. 
so oh my god this is this is very pretty this is my first iteration of a uh, Graflex in its uh, in its totality. I never owned in any form of a Graflex saber, so this is my first Graflex, and oh man, I love it. This is awesome. This is beautiful. Now, of course, nothing is lined up, uh, but that's not uh, not a problem. Uh, first thing what I notice is the weight. This thing has some weight to it, and that. First of all, comes from the um, the bottom section of this hilt. Uh, this is actually the Avenger. Do I say that correct? I will put the parts in the description. Uh, I believe this is the Avenger body uh, section, which has metal uh, struts or metal grips instead of rubber grips. I prefer this um, body section because I didn't want to have that uh, typical old school. Um, Graflex fat body on the bottom. I wanted something that was a little bit slimmer and had less uh, of these uh, black strips or uh, rubber st rubber strips so it was a little bit more slim to the eye and in, in, in terms of holding it and that's why I found this uh, body section to be uh, uh, better first for what I needed. Then I got the typical Graflex ASP bottom as requested. Um, very nice D-ring on there. Actually very impressed with it. It looks very good and sturdy. I did not expect that. Vented for sound. We're gonna show this saber from close up in the next full review video. And then as the control box, I ordered the, I think it's the Prodigal, 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 Prodigal Sun Saber. Uh, which is actually basically Obi-Wan's uh, con uh, Saber control box. I preferred to have a control box on the Saber because I would still want to have some sort of a classic look of the uh, Graflex. And uh, I found this um, um, body or this control section to be more in line with what I like because I don't like the Graflex uh, clamp. I don't like the clamp and the clamp uh, holder or pin on the side. I did not like it. And that's also one of the main reasons why I don't like Darth Vader Saber. Um, it's basically the same hilt, uh, but slightly different configuration. I just not like that. So uh, this is perfectly what I like. Um, in terms of alignment, from what I can see so far, the alignment would be very close to what I wanted to have. Um, I need to put in the shims. To align it slightly better, but it is pretty close already to uh, what I like it to be. Um, either way, the control section will be on this side or on this side. I want to have it on the side and then keep the bunny ears and the rest of the body uh, straight. So slightly different than most people would like have it, probably. Uh, but then again, that's the beauty from the ASP Saber. You can configure it the way you want it. and have a more personalized saber um, but yeah first glance very nice saber uh, very cool a lot of heft to it um, I really like it so so I hope you like this short unboxing video I will show you the full video in a later uh, full review where we're gonna go through every individual part with close-ups with the pros and cons and see if there's anything that uh, we did not cover during the unboxing as usual so please come check out this channel within a week or so when the full review has been uploaded. Uh, this was Rebel News. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video. Stay scummy.